What's up guys, welcome to another segment of the Healthy Bartender. Uh, today I'm going to do a uh, recipe that was uh, shot off to me by uh, a friend, uh, Kelly Meisner. And it's called the Swedish Berry uh, Martini. I got my lovely little assistant here, before I forget. Um, so, I love Swedish berries. I actually have not tried this recipe yet. I went out and got banana liqueur because it's not something I really stock here. Uh, so first off, ounce of vodka. I'm gonna make this like I know what I'm doing, but I've actually never made this before. So an ounce of vodka, a little bit more than an ounce of vodka. Banana liqueur. So it calls for a half an ounce. I actually put a little bit more vodka in there, so I want I want the taste to be as close as the recipe calls. Next up, sour puss, Canada's most or most popular uh, liqueur, which is not hard, is hard to believe. Uh, so a half ounce of this. I'm gonna go a little bit more as well, and put that in there. So from there, I could take just the actual alcohol ingredients and uh, mix them together. And from there, I'm gonna add in some uh, cranberry juice. I'm trying to judge on what my glass can take here. And next up, 7-Up. That looks pretty good. That does smell like Swedish berries. I would have chilled this glass. That's what I usually would do, put ice in it for a couple minutes and let it chill off or chill down. See how close I was. I'd say that was pretty close. So, Kelly Meisner, I have not tried this yet. Ooh. How does that end up tasting like a Swedish berry? I'm not quite sure. But it does. It actually tastes like the Swedish berry candy. Um, so again, vodka, one ounce. Banana liqueur, one or a half ounce. Sour puss, half ounce, kind of judge half and half, so 50-50 on the rest of the your serving to fill your glass. Anyways, Kelly Meisner, cheers to you. Thank you very much. Drink responsibly.